guys, welcome to today's video. It is Monday, and we are up and figuring things out. <laughs> oh, it's a lot. Welcome to spring cleaning week, you guys. I have so many things, so many plans that I want to do right now that I need time to do. Like this, this is about to become something cool. Like this year, there are some things that I want to do with my mare. There's a journey I want to do with her. There's two things I want to do with her. And this is the start of that. So this week, Sophie and I are, like I tried to do it yesterday, but just got too busy with the new baby chicks. If you didn't see that video, there's new baby chicks on our channel. And uh, by the end of this week, we should have some other new baby chicks hatching. So many things happen. So many things are all just kind of happening on top of each other and it's hard to figure out how to share them all, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> but before this vlog starts, I wanted to tell you guys something that's been really, uh, that I've really been thinking about a lot lately. And it's how we buy horses and then they turn out not to be what we want them for. Like you can love a horse and you can care for a horse, but if you have a different idea of what you want your life to look like with your horse than your horse has, then I feel like sometimes it can cause issues, which has happened to us. I think we sell horses wrong, you guys. I think we sell them wrong. And as horse owners, we should always want our horses to go to the best family ever. And I think that we should change the way we sell horses. You can't ever tell for sure if a horse is the right one until you've had it for a while. Like, and you have to choose so quickly if, if the horse is right for you. And how can you ever tell unless the owner tells you everything about the horse? But then there's the whole process of how you think about a horse is different than how somebody else thinks about a horse. It's just such a hard thing. Buying horses is hard. What the heck are you getting at, Laura? What are you talking about, Laura? Okay, this is it. So having had an opportunity to spend so much time with Penny after I bought her and love on her and see what kind of a horse she is, I've discovered that what she wants to do and what I want to do are kind of very similar. Like I think what I want to do with Penny this year that I dreamed me doing with Penny long ago before I even knew I really wanted to do it, I think they're the same thing, which is so lucky. Well, hello, breakfast girl. You're eating breakfast in the barn? Where's your dog? Is she outside? Yeah? You better go find her. But for now, it's time to clean up the arena and do chores. You know what makes me happy? And I'm not trying to be arrogant here, but I might sound arrogant because it makes me so happy. I've seen people in the comments, a few people, okay, like one girl. <laughs> I've seen somebody in the comments say, when are you gonna ride your horse, Laura? Because she likes when you ride her the best. And that makes me so happy because I kind of see it. Like I kind of see that too. And it's because she doesn't like to be bossed. She doesn't like to be told what to do. And in like the show world, especially in like the English world and the old fashioned world, yeah, you love me. Um, it's all about like dominating your horse and making sure they know that you're the boss instead of being a team. It's like, it's like you have to be the boss of your horse. And Penny doesn't like that. And then in fact, I've noticed that a lot of horses don't like that. And boys don't complain about it, which is why a lot of people like boys. And girls do complain about it, which is why girls can be harder. But anyways, I do agree that Penny likes me riding her the best. I agree that Penny likes me she riding. She bucks with me because you put bad saddle on. No, she bucks with me too if I do too much crazy with her. She's like, okay, let's go. Hold on, I want to give you a quick little brush. So if he wants to do a different order because Gabby's late. The boss lady is late. She I know, I brushed it. Oh, hello. No, you did not. Oh, I did not see that. Well, that is going to be tricky. Tricky. Oh, oh goodness. All right, go. Go, go, go. Yeah, just wait, let me get out. All right, are we ready? All the girls are ready? She nickered to you. No, that's Willow. Oh, Willow nickered. Hit the road, Joe. Uh oh, look at her hair is in her, in her. Goodbye, lady, lady girls. We've been looking really hard. Oh gosh, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh no, dogs, get back here. 
Back here. Ah. Molly. Got a treat? Yeah, roll it. Roll it. Right. Ru Molly, Ruby, come. Come on. Kick it right up there. Sophie, you're, you're, you're so slow. She's afraid. So we're trying to catch them while they're rolling. The whole journey with Sophie and her horse, like, it takes time, you guys. It takes time. Sam sends me, like, 500 horses every single day. And then I forward them to Brandon. And then he says, too small, to this, to that, to this, to that. And so we're still looking. We're still trying to figure it out. But, so I had a dream. Like, you guys know I have dreams. And I had a dream a couple nights ago. And it came true, like, that same day. If I dream just as I wake up, it usually is a dream telling me what's going to happen. But I dreamed the other day that Sylvie was walking a horse that was like that mare, looked almost like that mare, and makes me want to give her another chance. Not because we're impatient with the journey, because we're not, but because there's something about this mare, like how Sylvie rides her, and how she moves, and how she rides, and everybody. And she doesn't like gray horses? Yeah, she does not like gray horses, which is a huge issue. But, but basically, like, she, everybody I show this horse to, they're like, wow, she moves really nice. Like, she does move really nice. And she jumps really nice. And she's good with Sophie being not perfect. It's just hard to tack her up. But she's not. So that, I guess, is the biggest issue is that, like, she's not perfect about Gabby. It's like, she doesn't do anything bad about Sophie being not perfect. But you can see, she's like, ah. What are you doing? You're an idiot! <laughs> Whenever Sophie makes a mistake. So, like, I know we can work past that and we have time to work past that, but you guys know on YouTube, a lot of times people don't have any patience for that. They just want to see perfection. And so, it's just a battle of trying to figure out what is right for us right now. Well, good morning and welcome to today. Welcome to the barn and chores. Hi. <laughs> I told her to wait for me and I said, I'll go get you a treat, okay? And she said, okay. And Willow said, wait, I'm coming too, because I know whenever this happens, treats get tossed around. But I have 50 pounds of carrots, <laughs> and we need to get rid of them. We've got the arena almost all cleaned up, and it's nice and dry now. It's looking so good, you guys. Let's see if she'll do it now. Come here, Penny. Oh, okay, Laura. I will come to you. Look at how cute she looks. Thank you. Like, even though I should be cleaning. Oh, <laughs> she'd just be following me. I have a carrot for you. I always have a carrot for you. I don't know. Willow already had a carrot. Can you give half of this carrot for Gracie? All right, listen, if you want this carrot, oh, 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 wait a minute here. Wait, you know, I clean your face. Okay, listen, if you want this carrot, you have to do some tricks for me. Back up. No tricks today, Laura. <laughs> oh, I see what's happening. So that brings me to what the heck is it that I want to do with Penny Pickle? You come in? If you want this treat, you have to back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Very good, Penny. <laughs> this is episode one. Of what will Willow jump? Yeah, Molly yeah. will jump it. I can't do this. She's trying before me. Okay. <laughs> Not today. It's too early in the morning, Sophie. She'll do that. I know she will. Maybe she needs a running head start. Maybe she needs a running head start. Gabby says you're doing it too tight. And he's like, just scratch me. Oh man, I love that horse. <laughs> nope, that's not it. Penny, come here. Good girl, yeah. Back up, back up. Good girl, yeah. You don't get a treat every time, sister. You know that's the rules, right? She's like, well, don't be fussing with me. <laughs> She's not a horse that likes to be fussed with. Oh, well, you've decided to come and join us, have you? She was like, I'll just eat all the hay while I'm out here. I have no more carrots. I have no more carrots. Yay! 
All right, I gotta clean my stall. This is what happens, you guys. I'll be cleaning away, making everything all pretty, and then Penny walks by. A pretty girl just walks by, wags her tail, and I'm like, hey, you wanna play? We'll do tricks. <laughs> Let's happens. work. Let's work together. This is what happens. Oh, she's going outside now. Um, what happens? Um, you start playing with Penny, so then I decide, I oh, will, can go over a jump. So I set up a random jump. And she jumps in. Yeah, so like I start playing with Penny and then Gabby starts playing with her dog and then Sophie starts playing with her pony. Look at the blue specks in those eyes. Ruby's our jumping bean. Hi, Penny. Wow. Yeah, good girl, yeah. Okay, so I wanted to tell you guys something, like update you guys on something. This vlog is gonna be all about us with our horses in the morning. But I wanted to tell you guys about how, like I've been working with Penny with her back legs. You guys know that she has had issues with her back legs being touched, whoa. You see Penny? She's like, how dare you come into my house and act a fool. <laughs> Can you go grab some more carrots? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what the heck? Okay, I grabbed something and you grab more carrots, okay? Good girl, Penny. Good girl. So anyways, um, ever since I've been working with her back legs and she understands now that we can touch her back legs and things can come up against her back legs and it's not scary, she's been so much better with the dogs coming up behind her. All right. So see, this is what happens. This is how our day gets lost. This is how life gets finished. So Penny's not scared of that. She just doesn't want to do it. Penny is a curious horse. Penny. Mares are so smart. Even that's that mare that Sophie's trying, you gotta lift your legs up, sister. Lift them up. Lift, move back, move back. Move back, make her step over it. There you go, good girl. Now watch, she'll probably walk backwards instead of having to like put her other foot over. See, I told you she'd try and go back. <laughs> do I know my mare or do I know my mare? Yeah. Yeah. Like she went back. She said to Sophie, let's try again, Sophie. Like she's so smart. Horses are so smart. Boys just keep it private because they know that if they show how smart they are, they're gonna, you're going to make them do more. <laughs> Gabby's like, yes, that's it. That's the truth, sister. No, are you talking about men or horses? <laughs> Are you talking about men or horses? It's both. But no. No. no, men are not smart. Men not are actually it. smart. They just don't show it. Trust me. Have you ever met Dad? No, I met him. Daddy, she got married to him. <laughs> I got married to him. Hey, come on, let's she's do more work. Blind. Look, she's gonna walk over a pole. Yay! <laughs> Penny does not like poles. She wants to do it again, Sophie. Give me oh, a carrot. I just let me see if I can get my girl to do it. Come on. Come on. Because she trusts me. Nope. She knows. <laughs> nope. Come on. Over this, Penny. Give me a carrot. Come on. Good girl. Big step. Here, give it to me, Soph. Hey, I'm doing it. Hey! I'll give you some. Hey! Give me one. You and Miller are the exact same. <laughs> me and Will are the exact same. I got nothing. You did nothing. Penny's still in there trying to get over the tube. So we have like a bunch of stuff. We have this big, huge tire. Wow, that's gonna take a lot of paint. I wanna paint it. Let's see if Sophie can lift it. It's one of those like massive tires, huge. 
We want to fill it with dirt though so that you could like walk over it. And then we have like so many, not these. We have other tires though. We have so much stuff. You really want me to help you with this? What the heck, Sophie? <laughs> um, we have so much stuff around our property that we can use to do what we want to do. So maybe this is it. Sam built us this bridge. I'm gonna get him to reinforce it though. But we have the bridge. We have like a bunch of poles and stuff, colored poles. We got a trampoline. We got a trampoline. Imagine the horses on the trampoline. Oh my God, imagine Willow on a trampoline. Oh my gosh. The other day he bought us two barrels, which we're gonna use in our two, which we're gonna use, two barrels. We've got tires, we've got so much stuff. We've got, I'll show you. Well, hello, sweet girl. Oh my goodness, why? Why? I brushed you. She's like, yeah, that's why. I brushed you. Look at you. She's like, don't look at me. Don't show them, Laura. But there's been an altercation in the dirt. Oh my gosh, Penny Pickle. What the heck? Penny Pickle? <laughs> I put my house out here all nice and clean and now they look like that. Even that one looks like that. Look, it's all in your eye. Oh. Oh. oh, Penny. All right, so <laughs> my horse is dirty. So then we have these pool noodles, which I'll get more this year. We have a pool, we have standards, we have a hula hoop, and we have a ball. So anyway, but Sophie and I, yeah, I can fix the ball. So Sophie and I are going to, Oh, we also have a tunnel. But Sophie and I are going to use all these things and create the best, gosh darn, obstacle course in our outdoor arena. We decided to do it in our outdoor arena. I literally brushed her this morning, and this is how much hair is still coming off of her. That's why they roll. That's why she rolled. It's all dirt. But look at how she just stands here. And it's like, yes, Laura, do it. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, and then she walks away. All right, so now I'm covered in hair. Let's do an episode two. Episode two of what will her pony... Hey. Episode two of what will her pony jump? Is that what that is? <laughs> I wanted to show you this stuff today. So we got these big things, which I think are so cool because these could be placed far apart and you have to walk between them, like kind of like poles, but closer together. And we have some more poles, and we have these railroad ties, which I think will be cool. We have a bunch of colored tires, and we got poles and stuff. But anyways, what we decided to do, you guys, our outdoor is totally dry. Fluffy, soft, dry, I love it. Um, all right, so I guess I'm riding tomorrow if it doesn't rain. So what we want to do, actually there's some wet down there, is make an extreme trail course out here we're gonna do it in the middle of the arena so that we can like still ride around the rail and ride like diagonal and stuff ride out here but we want something fun for our mares and literally that's what I want to do with Penny that's what Sophie wants to do and I want to do with Penny and our mares are so trained to do like tricks and stuff they're already good at that kind of stuff and I think if we make like gates and and so many different things. I've been looking them up online and I was thinking like that's what we got to do. So hopefully we can get it done this week. I want to paint stuff. Tell me what you guys think. I showed you all the stuff. But comment below and tell me what you guys think. Like what should we make? What should we do? Oh, we even have this. And stand like that. Well, we even have like this ladder or which we could put... use somehow as a gate. I don't know. We have stuff. We have options. I'm excited. How are we gonna use that? I don't, I don't know. That might not work, but what could work for something? I want it to be pretty and lots of colors and like just really fun and that's what we wanna do. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're hoping to do. That's what we're, we are gonna do it. Um, I just gotta get Sam to help. I need him to drag the arena now that it's all dry. Only discovered extreme trail competitions when last year, I think it was, I saw it just popped up on my Facebook and I was like, <gasps> That's the thing I want to do. Like, that's what I want to do with Penny. And then I saw, I had like a dream and I saw me doing it with Penny. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. Like, that's what I want to do. And I know Sophie wants to do it. And you can now, because of COVID, you can set up your own course 
and you can video it and you can enter shows online and doing your own stuff and so we might try that or we might end up going someplace I know that there's some there's places like around and you got the carrots yeah we're gonna take our 50 pounds of carrots to the barn because 50 pounds of carrots and three mares is not a good combination all right let's go thanks for joining us Gabby perfect timing like usual Met us down at the barn when all the work was done. Don't you know that you're beautiful?